because I came over in 2012, in September 2012, and um, uh, my uh, my brother gave me uh, like a like a going away gift um, in Belgium, and it was actually like a ticket to go see um, uh, Anthrax, Testament, and Death Angel in the Danforth Music Hall, like a week after I came to Toronto. I was like. Oh, well, that's maybe cool. Not, maybe that not that even show. a week. Like it was. It was, was at was, that show. Really? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. awesome. And it was. Um, so I got there, um, and it was. I was surprised to see that. Like I remember, like the ticket was like maybe it's like doors open at seven or something like that. And I get there like at like, and like in Belgium, if like something says doors open at seven, that means the first band is on at nine. You know. So I get there at like seven thirty, and like as I. You know, there's a line, I go in line and I, whatever, I get in. And I walk in and it's like the last song of Death Angel. And I'm like, fuck, like, because I, I love Death Angel. And I, I love the old Death Angel stuff, but it's one of those thrash bands that in the early 2000s or in the 2000s, I should just say, have, have bad, gone yeah. to such a new height in their career, you know, like, like so many other ones, Overkill, Testament, Creator. So I was really excited to go watch them. I'd seen them many times before, but still, I they were like, I was almost more excited about Death Angel and Testament and, and Anthrax, but anyway. And, um, and so I'm just a brand new kid, right? Um, I drove there with my rental car that I got the day before um, and uh, uh, got um, pictures with, uh, as they went to their tour bus with uh, Mark uh, Oseguera, or whatever, I always mispronounce last name, but the singer of Death Angel. Um, and it was a great show. And I just, you know, being by myself, right? And, and also like this new kid. I remember being like in the mush pit, like getting ready be between Anthra uh, between Testament and Anthrax. Um, and I'm just standing with some guys and I'm wearing my metal vest, you know, uh, this one right here. Um, kind of looked similar at that time because it's my old vest. Um, and people go like, oh man, hey, sick vest. And I'm like, yeah, thanks man. Uh, like, hey, uh, what's your name? Oh, I'm Jasper. Oh, you have an accent. Where are you from? Oh, I just moved like three days ago. <laughs> you know, like, oh, that's awesome, whatever. And so there were this group of guys and they were like, they were older than me, but they were like, oh, yeah. So they kind of like, you know, um, embraced me, if you will. I don't remember their names or never met them. After, never saw them again after that show. But like, you know, we kind of hung out and it after, was Andre. Yeah, <laughs> no, it wasn't Andre. It wasn't Andre. And, I, and then, uh, <laughs> But it was like this, it turned out to be this crazy night because so like Anthrax played the show, it was a great show, but it was like the first, I think it was the first tour that they had Joe Belladonna back, I could be wrong, but anyway, uh, had a lot of fun. So kind of like hung out with these guys and uh, there's an Irish bar not too far away from, um, from, the, from uh, well, not maybe an Irish bar, but uh, a little bit more west of, uh, of the Danforth Music Hall, also on the south side of Danforth. So we go to the bar there and we're just having, and then one of these guys is like, like his wife is apparently in labor and like he gets the phone call at like, you know, 1.30 and it's like, fuck, oh, I have to go, whatever. And so he rushes and like people are asking me like, well, how, why do you come here? Like I was like, go to work and blah, blah, blah. Um, and they're like, oh yeah, man, like, do, do you know anything about Canada? It's like, no, no, I just literally like came here two days ago. Um, and they're like, oh man, yeah, you need to eat poutine. <laughs> and I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> and so these guys felt like, okay, we have to go downtown to get poutine from poutinis or whatever. And um, and I go like, oh yeah, no problem. Like my car is parked like, you know, a few streets away. It's like a tiny car. I mean, like six of us. Like yeah, just get in. I was unaware of the stigma against and and the very rightful stigma against drinking and driving in Canada. Which like in Belgium, like you know, you go to a show, you have six beers, and you drive home. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> Um, and here was like very different. Everybody's like, oh man, you're gonna drive, are you sure? Because we'd been like, you know, slamming a few beers. But anyway, so yeah, we get all in the car, drive to like, I don't know, like King West area, um, park in the street at a Poutine's. And by this time it's 2.30 and all the clubs are done. So every like people pour out into the street and the lines at like the pizza places and the poutine places get super long. Um, or no, or not poutine, like, was it smokes? Poutine? Smokes like, dinner, and, yeah. Yeah, anyway. So we're just waiting in line and um, it took, takes super long fucking time to get there and uh, or, or get, get our order in. I hated poutine, by the way, I still do. I can't, I just can't. I mean, I like fries, I like cheese and I like meat, but great, I'm gonna get you gravy, cheese curds, 
and 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 fries all together. Like why? I don't know. But anyway, so we're like we're trying, and I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. And we're standing on the street, and there's no cars parked in the street, and this is like at whatever. Um, but my car is, and um, and all of a sudden there's like a towing truck that drives past, and stops and starts to, you know, reverse. So and we're like, oh, hey, oh, what's this towing car doing here? Oh, he must be going back to that car. It's like, oh shit, that's my car. And I, 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 and this street. So for those people that are listening, in the summer or September in this case, when it's two thirty on a Saturday night, all the bars have to close and all the pubs close and all the clubs close. So there's a ton of people on the street on a nice, nice night out, right? So there's a lot of people on the street, and I like, I throw down my poutine. I run to my car, I and people are starting to like cheer in the streets. I get into the car, put my key in, like you know, start the engine, and I like rev the the motor and I like turn out of the parking spot like one second before the, the towing truck. Like he sees me running, so he's like accelerating, trying to block me in, right, so that he can take my car away. And I like <laughs> turn around, turn drive away. Everybody in the street is like cheering, like yeah. I uh, drove around the block a few times, found another parking spot, uh, parked the car back, went back to the poutine's place, but by the time you guys were gone, uh, my poutine was still on the floor. But anyway, that was my first attempt to <laughs> eating poutine. That was my first metal show in Canada. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.